YouTube, we are still in the same goddamn spot that we have been in for a while. So originally we were only in the area, we we're gonna stay in the area until Riot got the second part of her rattlesnake vaccine. And then I decided to order some things on Amazon and have them delivered to the post office, which was the point of my last video to show how you can get mail when you're on the road the snafu came in that one of my packages has been majorly delayed it says it's supposed to get in today it was due in six days ago so our travel plans have been delayed until i get this package and the package is kind of important to me because it's a camera a nice one i just got my taxes done and to my pleasant surprise i even though I sold a business for a good amount of profit, I didn't pay nearly what I expected to. I'm going on all these adventures and even if I wasn't doing YouTube, I feel like I want to document what I'm doing, which kind of is why I'm also doing YouTube so that, you know, when I'm old, I can look back and go, I did some stuff. <laughs> I did some stuff. I lived some life. I'm, I, I'm living or I lived or whatever hopefully it comes in today although the iphone is quite capable especially now that i got this uh speaker dealio today what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this magnetic screen door the cargo trailer some you know some people some people have some fantastic cargo trailer builds mine is very humble but that's partly by design not to get too involved into the story, but my husband passed away. I was estranged from him for a little bit. We both had some life things going on that we needed to be apart to get straight. Unfortunately, his didn't straighten out and he overdosed. So that was in 2016. That's when my life really started changing is when uh, he made his transition. Uh, I can't even talk about it without getting teary-eyed. So the point is, is I'm solo on the road by myself. I don't intend to get together with anybody else. I'm real content by myself and I still feel my husband around me all the time. Um, so I still feel like I'm married. <laughs> anyway, with me being by myself, I want to know that I can fix anything that is in here. I looked at, you know, pre-built trailers and, and there was so much wiring and so much plumbing and so much this and so much that. And really my intention was to go super simple. I don't want to have to think too much about anything. And I want something that's built to last forever and ever. I mean, I'll never be homeless. I always have some shelter. <laughs> I, I, I like how simple my shit is, but it means that I don't freaking know how to do some of this stuff, okay? I'm learning, you get to see me screw up, you get to see me bump my head, probably with something as simple as this magnetic screen door. My point is, is I'm not putting on like one of those RV screen doors. I don't have the ability that some of these folks do where they're putting, you know, they're basically building like a log cabin out of their cargo trailer and they have you know, oh, like a washer and dryer in it. One, I don't want all that stuff. And for two, I don't have the know-how and I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care. I just don't care. So today we're gonna just do this simple magnetic screen door because it's starting, you know, with it warming up, we have a few bugs that have flown in for sure. And then, you know, I'm going to be working in the Pacific Northwest. So I anticipate that there will be some bugs. Another thing that I'm hoping with is that it provides just a little bit of um, filter for the sun. So if we can provide a little bit of filter for the sun, it will help that this stuff isn't getting cooked all the time. I mean, I put everything else in here. I should be able to install a metal, uh, a, a magnet screen door. It says it's only going to take five minutes to set up, but it took me over five minutes to read the instruction. I'm not trying to make myself sound dumb. I actually have two degrees and I graduated magnum cum laude. You would think that I have some intelligence. Maybe I just don't have faith in my crafting abilities. We're gonna give this a go. Magnetic screen door. It can go on a wooden frame or 
as we have an aluminum door frame. My interior is all aluminum, which I really like. This is so easy to clean. I can write on it, like I'm making notes for the book that I wanna write just on the wall as I think of it, like a whiteboard. It's like a giant whiteboard. And then it's super easy to keep clean. So like once a week, I just go around with um, cleaning rags and wipe it all down and it, it keeps it so clean. If you have a wooden door frame, it has this little box of tacks with it. We're gonna be installing using Velcro. I kind of appreciate they call it hook and loop backing tape. I assume Velcro must be a name brand, kind of like Kleenex versus tissue. Hook and loop tape, hook and loop tape. I don't know, that sounds kind of fun to say. Okay, so what we need to start with is by cleaning the door frame. We're gonna start, then thoroughly wipe down with alcohol. Remove the screen from the package and unfold it on the floor or table. <laughs> We're already at the 17 minute mark. The next step is to cut the hook and loop tape, as they like to call it, aka the Velcro it came with, to match this width. <laughs> Holy shit. And then stick it on the top of the door frame. And right about now, I am wishing that I had bought a wireless lapel microphone. So if any of you are wondering if I regret not getting a wireless microphone, the answer is yes. I went the cheap route. I'm tethered like my dog. Come Alita, hold me tight up. I think I'm sinking down. Yep, it's strong. I can already feel that there's more shade, so I'm quite pleased with that. Over here, we are gonna probably run into a little bit of, this is a funny word to me, gaping. <laughs> I'll insert your innuendo here. Same thing as we get down here. It's just going to have to be what it is. But it feels pretty sturdy, so I'm happy with that. So now that we have the top affixed, it says to cut several pieces of 12 to 13 centimeters. I don't know what centimeter conversions are. It's not my forte, the math stuff. My dad's actually a professional engineer. He started with his mechanical engineering. Uh, and then <laughs> he even taught engineering. He owned his own st structural steel company. Those skills were not gifted to me. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna do my best. underneath the trailer. This is going actually pretty all right. We're cooking with some gas now. It's just not going to be perfect. Nothing in life is really that perfect though, is it? Perfection's an illusion. We are the young ones. I don't know if any of you are around my age, but does anyone remember the show, The Young Ones? It was on the BBC. It was a classic and one of my favorite shows. I obviously was a fan of Vivian, but also Brick, the people's poet. I have a lot of the shows, or at least clips of the shows on YouTube called The Young Ones. And it's older and it's British comedy but I love that. I grew up on like Absolutely Fabulous and The Young Ones and uh, really shaped my formative years. So this side is gonna be a little wonky because I had the LED light and the light switches. 
And then I didn't really compensate for that at the bottom. So still gonna function. It's just not gonna be super symmetrical. But you know what? My life isn't super symmetrical. So this does feel sturdy though. We'll see how it lasts. I mean, that's all you can do. All right, should we give it a try? It's supposed to be hands-free, but I feel like I needed my hands. I still feel like I want to open it with my hands, but Riot can go in and out. So it took me about 45 minutes to get that installed. Naturally, I was also talking to you guys while I was doing it, and uh, I started a little bit more insecure, so maybe if I had a little bit more confidence going in to my Velcroing skills. I I think it's going to be good. It seems pretty strong and uh, I guess time will really tell in how it holds up. Thank you so much for coming along and helping me install my magnetic screen door and I hope that you like and subscribe so you can keep up with Riot and my travels and you can also see how we continue evolving uh, in our cargo trailer life. I hope you're all having a great day. Have a Riot!